Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here from BackIntelligence.com and today we're going to go over some exercises you can do standing that'll be great for your core, great for your hips and glutes, and you don't have to get on the ground. So it'll be much more convenient for people, either you have a mobility restriction or for whatever reason you can't get down on the ground, you can try these exercises to help strengthen the core, your glutes and your hips. So follow along as we go through it. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button to get access to videos as we put them out. So the first one we're going to do is a plank variation. Planks, great core exercise, mostly done on the ground, but you can do them in different positions. You can do elevated planks where your feet are on the ground, maybe your hands are up on something else such as the wall or a couch or your bed. We're going to do a plank variation that adds rotation, so adding a little movement into it will challenge your core more. So it's going against the wall. You find the distance away from the wall you feel comfortable with, but Leon's at a good distance, about two feet away from the wall at this point. He's going to take his forearms, he's going to lean into the wall. The key is to be tight, just like with any plank, tight in the right section, in your, in your abdo abdominal wall, not in your back. You're in a nice straight line, you're not sagging in, you're holding that tight core position, and then you're going to rotate. All you're going to do is, holding one arm into the wall, you're going to rotate away. The key is to rotate your whole body as he's doing. His shoulders and his hips rotate together. He's not twisting through his upper bodies. He's rotating one way, and then he's rotating another way. Good. If it feels too easy and you want to back up a little bit from the wall, you can increase that angle a little bit, and that's going to make the challenge more to the core. But again, always brace through your abdominal wall. You want to feel this in your stomach, maybe a little bit in your shoulders. This is also a good exercise for your rotator cuff. You're going to hold, do these exercises back and forth 20 times. So 10 on each arm, good for your core. Next exercise we're going to do standing for your core is going to be a payoff press. You can do this exercise in varying positions. A lot of times it'll, I'll demonstrate it to patients kneeling, half kneeling, but standing is an option as well. It's a great exercise to work on that rotational core strength. It's an anti-rotation exercise actually. So we're going to take a band, any type of band that you have will work. Best place you'll probably be able to attach it to is your doorknob on the back side of a door. Always try to do that on a door that is closing, not opening, just so it doesn't release itself. But if you have some other object, a pole or something you can tie it to, that's fine as well. So we have the object tied off there. We're going to kind of step away a little bit from it. We're going to grab it with two hands. We're going to have a braced, nice, tight core. We're going to bring it into our abdomen, kind of upper abdominal wall there. Nice, tight brace. Imagine someone's punching you. Nice, slight bend in your knees. And we're just pressing away, and we're coming back. Good. And we're pressing away and coming back. So you should feel this over time in your obliques and your rotational muscles of your core. You can be nice and tight in your glutes and your hips for stability as well. You want to be careful not to overemphasize your shoulders and your neck. You shouldn't feel your shoulders up by your ears. They should be relaxed. You can feel tight down along your sides as well. If it's too easy and you're just sitting there banging them away, nothing, uh, you don't feel anything, just move yourself slightly away to increase that resistance from the band and keep pressing. If you find it too difficult, if you're struggling to maintain that, then it's too hard. Get yourself a little closer. You should feel this. Generally, what we'll have someone do is three sets of 10, but you need to do it on both sides. So you, once you're done with this one, you're going to spin around and do it the other way because you want to get both sides and work muscles consistently because this exercise, like I said, is an anti-rotation exercise. The band is trying to twist Leon towards the door at this point. So we want to do that from both sides. So three sets of 10 each side. Work on this for that rotational stability. Another exercise that you can do that's good for your core and your hips especially is going to be a squat, but we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to add a little to make it more valuable. We're going to add a band. So Leon's got a band just above his knees is where we're going to put it. We're going to make sure we have a good athletic position your feet about shoulder width apart, and you're going to go through a squatting pattern. The key is, as you go down, the band is there. What's it trying to do? Pull your knees in. Well, if you don't let that happen, you push your knees out against that band, you're going to activate those glutes and those side hip muscles a lot more, and you'll feel it a lot more in your hips and glutes. So have Leon go through some. You can put your arms in front of you like Leon's doing for a little counterbalance because you want to be sure that your knees don't come too far forward. You're keeping those knees basically over those toes without driving too far forward and stressing the knee out too much. So simple basic squat, you go to the depth that you feel comfortable, but ideally we're going to get to parallel or just below, and we're going to work, and you're going to feel a lot of that in your hips and your glutes. 
bracing your core as well is ideal for this, for stability of your trunk. Lovely, I'll just turn and face the wall there so you can see. As he's going down, he's holding a good position. He's not driving too far over those toes. He's holding a good, nice static position through his spine. As he pushes out, he feels it in his hips and glutes. So this, ideally, two to three sets of 10, work on that, you should feel it in there. If you don't feel it in there, increase the resistance of that band. The next standing exercise we're gonna do also incorporates the band and you get to place it above your knees. So you can just move right into that. So again, we're gonna work on the hips, the lateral hips up here mostly. You're gonna work on your glute muscles and your stabilizers of your hip. Great way to strengthen this area. So lateral band walks. So we're gonna have Leon go through this. This is a common exercise you see a lot. I see people do it wrong a lot. So we're gonna go through what I want you to do. So as you're walking sideways essentially, the key is to emphasize driving off your back leg. The key is pushing off that back leg. That's where the strength and the energy should come from. You are going to pull a little bit with that front leg, but the key is to really push through that back leg. So as you're pushing, you're using that back glute. The front glute as well will pull, but the key is to drive off that back leg. Don't just pull with your front leg. So find a distance in your house or your gym or somewhere you can go back and forth and work on that to strengthen these hips and these glutes. Use this along with that squat with the band. Perfect. Good. So try these standing exercises. See how you do at strengthening your core and your glutes and getting you to better shape with your back. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, research shows that strengthening your core area can help relieve some of that low back pain that you're feeling. But it's important to know which exercises specifically to do and how. Uh, and you want these exercises to be both effective and safe for your spine. And we have just the PDF for that. So if you'd like to get a free PDF of core exercises that are safe for your spine and are very effective, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you that PDF right away.